to answer the question, how do I get a coaching client? This is what I would do consistently until those spots are closed. Or another option is launching it. So you'll notice that I do masterclasses very often. Um, and so one of the things that you can do if you're launching one-on-one or I use this for specifically for launching a group or a course is running a masterclass. So in module nine of Yesstream Clients, I guide you through my whole process for running through my masterclasses and I guide you through the pre-launch, the launching and the post-launch process. And so you can literally follow along with that. We give you a spreadsheet with a checklist and you can follow along. And essentially to put it in like very simple terms, what you're doing is you're deciding on a topic of a masterclass that aligns to your offer. Um, And I teach you how to decide on a topic of the masterclass that would make sense for what it is that you're offering. And then so let's just say your masterclass is on the 20th of the month or the 23rd of the month, let's say. Leading up to the masterclass, all of your posts are inviting people to the masterclass. So let's just say maybe you don't have like much of a community or audience yet. Maybe you want to give yourself a month or 14 days. So for 14 days before your masterclass, so let's just say it's the 24th, then what is that, the 9th? Then from the 9th to the 23rd or 24th, every post where you're giving value, you're sharing your story, you're Um, inspiring people, you're sharing results, you're leaving behind limiting beliefs, you're helping them create new beliefs. Every single post at the end of it, your call to action is, I'm diving deeper into this on the 23rd at 2 p.m. Join me at such and such masterclass, type in masterclass to join me or head to my link in bio to join me. And so for those 14 days, you're inviting people to join your masterclass so that hopefully on the 23rd, you have hundreds or thousands of people on your masterclass. And then you can walk through the webinar guideline that I give you, teach, people get a feel for your teaching style, people get a feel for your coaching style, and then you sell your offer. And then for, it's up to you again, how much you want to do. But typically what I do is from seven to 10 days after the masterclass, I am putting out posts on social media where I'm selling that same offer that I talked about them on the masterclass and I'm giving people reasons to join. So I'm letting them know what's inside. I'm letting them know how much it will help them. I'm letting them know how much these shifts have helped me in my life. I'm sharing client results. I'm talking about the tools. I'm talking about the lessons and the learnings and the shifts and all of that for seven to 10 days. And within those seven to 10 days on the last day, um, there is some kind of sense of urgency. So either the doors are closing and after that last day, nobody can buy. Or um, if the doors are not closing, maybe a bonus is going away or a discount is going away so that it's encouraging people to buy within that time period. So that was a mini masterclass in itself. But if you're wondering, how do I get clients? This is what I would do. Get clear on your offer either sell it on socials with the sense of urgency of I have X amount of spots available that you can handle on your calendar or have a launch where you have some kind of promotion where people are encouraged to to buy within seven to 10 days after the masterclass. 